So now in this final video on Darwinian evolution, we're going to be looking at the diversity of life and just sort of summarizing what we've looked at um, uh, throughout these couple of videos on Darwinian evolution and really what it means on a big broad scale. And that definition on a big broad scale is simply that life is quite diverse. It is very, very diverse due to Darwinian evolutionary concepts that we've already established. The diversity of life is simply referred to as biodiversity. If you want to be fancy, you can say, yeah, I like to observe biodiversity in nature. And this is simply the fact that you look at biological diversity, biological diversity, and that biological diversity is seen um, of all living organisms. Okay, So there is an incredible amount of diversity on planet Earth, and that is labeled as biodiversity. In addition to that, I want you to think of something and realize just how much or technically how little we really know about life and just how diverse it is. Think about this for a second. I'm going to tell you that we as the human race have identified roughly 1.8 million species on this earth. We have identified 1.8 million species. If you really want to appreciate the diversity of life, realize that some estimates say that we still have to discover about 10, anywhere between 10 to 100 million total. That is really, in reality, what many scientists, what many evolutionary biologists state is throughout the world. That there are 10 to 100 million total species on this earth. We have for sure identified about 1.8 million species. We are far and away behind in terms of catching up to these estimates. So that really gives you an appreciation for just how diverse life is. In addition, um, in order to study the diversity of life, you cannot just haphazardly go out and say that you're going to study the diversity of life. You have to utilize techniques, and a lot of those techniques are based on um, a different study known as taxonomy. Taxonomists are in, in it of themselves um, people that discover and look at biodiversity because taxonomy is all about describing, um, naming, describing, let me write this down, naming and classifying organisms. So this is really a result of what? How is this even possible? This taxonomy, this study is only possible because of evolution, because of natural selection, because of the diversity of life therefore. In addition, we can classify the diversity of life quite broadly, I believe, um, by sort of, we as humans, we would say, naturally want to compartmentalize things and group things because it makes things easier for us to study, and life is no different. We group life into three classical domains. So there are three classical domains of life. You might have heard of these. You've, I hope you've heard of these, actually. They probably were mentioned in lecture one way back when. That those um, domains of life are named the bacteria, the archaea, and then the eukarya. Now, we will be looking at the diversity of life in much greater detail in biology too, but just know that there are three classical domains that classify and name and describe um, the domains of life, and they are basically bacteria, archaea, and eukarya. And we also, as humans, like to further, you know, classify things. And we do further classify things because we classify life into um, groups. And you know, you probably have an idea of what I'm about to say. We classify life through groups. And you can think of those groups as the classical, uh, overplayed, overdrawn domain, kingdom, phylum, class, order, genus and species. So this is domain, uh, kingdom, phylum, class, order, genus, species. That is classification, that is taxonomy in a nutshell. And finally, because there's diversity of life, we know that there's also, and I think this is quite poetic, 
a unity of life. Though there is a quite great amount of diversity, there is still a unity of life that we see mainly in the genetic code of life, the A's, the T's, and the C's, and the G's of life, and also in the structure of life. The things that the genetic code codes for, the structure that we see in life, are quite unified in nature. So finally, um, I'm just going to conclude by boxing out right over here just a little section to give you an overall summary of Darwinian evolution. If there's anything you're going to walk away with from this lecture, it's the following. Evolution is defined as descent with modification. Hopefully now you can really define that and understand that definition in a much greater uh, capacity than as when I started with this lecture. Descent with modification. Modification meaning natural selection and all the components of natural selection. And descent meaning that origination from a common ancestor. Combining all of those facts, you get evolution defined into three simple words, descent with modification. And then you also should remember that natural selection is equal to the mechanism of evolution. Do not ever forget that. Evolution doesn't just happen. It needs a mechanism. And that mechanism is natural selection, and that mechanism creates diversity. It promotes diversity. It creates diversity of everything that we see on earth. It creates diversity and also creates unity, you could also say. Those two things are hand in hand. And lastly, evolution is the exact sort of exemplification of emergence. That the uh, overall components of evolution, when combined and looked at together, give you a greater story than just the sum of the parts. So this is Darwinian evolution. This is the diver diversity of life that we see. Hopefully, through this lecture, you've gained a much greater appreciation for what Darwin did, what his predecessors did, how Darwin worked off of that knowledge, gave us a genius way to look at life altogether, and thus the evidence is associated with that methodology, and finally the diversity as a result of that methodology known as evolution. We see diversity of life. We see a unity of life. Hopefully you have a greater appreciation for all of those components that I have mentioned in this lecture.